This is a quick and dirty guide to recording your lectures using just your CBU laptop and Teams. There are better ways of producing a better product, but this is one that anyone can do with just the equipment you already have and really no technical skills. I'm going to show you how in real time right now. So the first thing you're going to do is cruise on over to uh, Teams. You can open any team you want. I've created one specifically for the demonstration. You can make one for your class, but you don't have to. You can use any team. So go into your team and just start a meeting. Once you start your meeting, it's going to pop up and it's going to prompt you to turn on uh, your audio and things. Go ahead and join the meeting. So when I join the meeting, I am going to just let it join. Once it connects to the meeting, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to move on over to these three dots click and move down to start recording. So at this point, we now have a recording started and the recording is not gonna show all this transcript and stuff on the side in a second. You're seeing it now because I'm recording my screen. So I just have, I didn't see a 227, a bad classroom for this because this plexiglass screen is uh, causing all sorts of glare, but you should see what it looks like. So here you are and you're in your position and you're teaching over here. So here I am, I'm teaching, and uh, is it great? No, it's not great. Is it better than nothing? It absolutely is better than nothing. And that's what I'm, uh, what I'm teaching you to do right now, is to make a product that really requires no additional effort, and it works okay. So maybe at some point you walk out of a frame like this, that's okay, because your students still have your audio. But again, what we're making here is better than nothing. That's our goal. And so you can go along and you can make your things, and, Maybe they can't see everything perfectly well, but they have access, again, to the audio, which is the most important thing. Okay, so now we're all done. What do we do from that point? You're just going to go over, and you are going to stop the recording. You actually don't even have to stop recording. I think you can just hit leave the meeting. Once you leave the meeting, uh, it's going to take a moment, but what you're going to see is down here, the video is going to pop up. It takes a second to process, so I'll just give it a minute. Once it's done processing, you're going to go ahead and just click on that link and it'll open it up within your browser. Once it opens up in your browser, go on over to where it says share, click on share, move down to this spot right here, click on that and choose the option people in Cape Breton University with the link and make sure you go and hit apply after that. At that point, you could just copy the link and you can email this straight to students. You can put it in your Moodle, whatever you'd like to do with it. That's it. So this is a quick and dirty way of producing a recording. It's not the best way. If you're tech savvy and you've got equipment, you can do it better than this, but this works well enough. So for the final couple of minutes of this video, I'm just going to show you what it'll look like from a student perspective. So here you are and you're in your position and you're teaching over here. So here I am, I'm teaching and uh, is it great? No, it's not great. Is it better than nothing? It absolutely is better than nothing. And that's what I'm, uh, what I'm teaching you to do right now, is to make a product that really requires no additional effort, and it works okay.